I've been looking for a good agility course for our dog. I can't find anything for a good price, so I decided I'm going to go look into it and make my own agility course. Uh, I figured out what to do, and I'll show you how to make it. It's really cheap and really simple. So you don't need any tools except a simple PVC wire, uh, PVC cutter, pipe cutter, um, and you just cut them to dimensions. I already have them cut out by dimensions. You'll have to do that. Uh, PVC poles, we have four of them at 30 inches here, three of them at 21 inches, four of them at 12 inches, two at eight and a half, six T-joints, eight end caps. First, you're going to want to put your end caps on uh, your feet here. These 12 inch pieces are your feet. Put an end cap on one side of each of these. These tall ones, these 30 inch poles, these are going to be the weed poles themselves. They're all going to have end caps on them as well. You're going to want to take two of your feet, your T-joint here, plug on either one to the T-joint. This is going to be one of your stabilizing feet. Eight and a half inch PVC pipe and plug it in first. Now I made the two end pieces are short. This is so that you can connect um, multiple of these together. Uh, this is actually the third one I'm making and you can put them all in a row. Um, and so you can have, this will have four weave poles. If you make another one you'll have eight, make another one you'll have twelve and you can just kind of line them all up one after the each other because of the way that it's designed. Twenty-one inch ones, the official length is I believe twenty-two to twenty-four inches. Uh, between poles. These are 21 inch poles. You add an inch on each side for the uh, connector here and that'll put you right in that dimension. So this is how you're going to make your uh, your track here. Put another T-joint, another length, the T-joint, the length, T-joint, a shorter eight and a half inch piece at the end. Plug the feet into your T-joints and plug that into the end. Now you take your four poles and you just place them in there. And there you go. This is a fall away jump pole. I, I'm not gonna make, make another one of these. So if you wanna come closer, I'll show you how to make these. Each of these has a T-joint, uh, a little two inch piece of PVC pipe and an end cap. This is so that you can place a pole on here and if your dog can't jump over, the pole will rest on top of that. If he jumps, can't make it, it'll just fall off and it won't injure your dog, he won't trip over it or anything like that. To make this one, you're gonna need six 12 inch poles. That's gonna be your feet here. So one, two, three, four feet right there. This one, first one is one foot here. Uh, so those are six 12 inch pieces. There's gonna be a total of two, four, six, eight six inch pieces. I uh, put those in six inch increments if you want. You can change them to more or less depending on uh, how many how many different levels of height you want for your dog. 14 end caps for this one right here, 14 end caps. 10 two inch pieces of PVC pipe for the pole to rest on. It is pretty simple. You have a T-joint here to bring it up to here, another T-joint. This bar is what kind of keeps it all together, uh, keeps it standing. And then each one just has a T-joint with that little uh, end on each. You've got your 39 inch with an end cap on each. This will just rest on, whoops, on any level here. So if you want your dog to be able to jump, whatever it is, uh, I, I've made it a one foot minimum. So if they can't jump one foot, they probably shouldn't be doing agility anyways. Uh, so one foot minimum, and then it can go up six, in six inch increments from there. This last one is a hoop jump. You're gonna need two lengths of 24 inches, two feet PVC pipe, 10, uh, 12 inch lengths. You're gonna need four six inch pieces. You're gonna need four, four and a half inch pieces. You're gonna need two, two inch pieces. And then over here on the connectors, eight 45 degree joints, four couplers. So you just connect one end to the other, go straight through. Six end caps, six T joints. So you're gonna get four 12 inch pieces, and you're gonna put four end caps on. And these are gonna be your feet. The hoop, you can't really make a circle with PVC pipe but you can make what's essentially a stop sign. Each 12 inch length here will go into a 45 degree connection. And it's gonna go all the way around. Uh, whenever you get to this part right here, it's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna make the top half here. Now we're gonna make the bottom half. So we got the top half of the hoop and the bottom of the half of the hoop made here. Now it's gonna connect at those middle sections. So you're gonna get two T-joints, and that's where you get your uh, four and a half piece, uh, inch pieces of PVC pipe. Oops. 
and you plug them into either side of the teeth. You can do that for both. This is not an exact science, it's just the numbers I found that work best. And you want these facing out. Alright, so now we have our hoop here. These are going to be your feet. Plug those into your T-joints. inch right here that's going to be the first thing put the little T on the top there you could put a put a two inch feed right here and that is going to connect to the outside of one of my pole all right you can see it's starting to kind of come together I built it in so that you can adjust it as your dog gets better we have these six inch pieces right here and I'll show you how you can adjust it in just a second so I'll plug these in nice and light for now Those are just couplers. So you're going to get these two. Uh, it's just a two inch piece with an end cap on it. I already uh, put the two, two inch piece in the end cap. These are just to sit on top. Uh, one goes there, one goes here. To make it higher, that's why I made these sections here. So um, if you want to make it six inches higher, all you do, take off this bottom part. Take off the six inch piece. Put it there. We attach it, put that on top. If you did that on the other side, it will be about six inches taller. To make it maximum height, just adjust it up even more. And uh, there's your maximum height. You want to tighten all that up. I was trying to find something that came with a wide variety of, of uh, pieces that the dog could do. The cheapest thing I could find was about $200 on Amazon. and. Uh, it was nice, but it was $200 plus about $50 shipping or something like that. Time-wise, it took about uh, maybe an hour to gather all the materials, uh, however long it takes you to go to your local hardware store, get some PVC pipe. You'll have all the lists of everything you need to pick up, uh, so you just need to pick those up. To put it together, it took maybe about three hours total. The longest time is cutting all the PVC pipe to the right size, to the right length. We have three weave poles, a hoop jump, and a... Uh, falling pole jump. This is our dog Siri. Siri, come here. Come here. Let's show him how to do it. She's uh, doing this for the second time, so we'll see how she does. Weave. Weave. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. Come on. Weave. Weave. Good. 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 Come on. Weave. Good girl. Jump. Good girl. Weave. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Not quite there yet, but we're going to keep working on it. Siri, jump! Good girl! <laughs>